Hey folks, parts of the valley saw some bright sunshine today. Other parts got some pretty good rainfall. Now we're kind of all leveling out low 80s temperature wise across the area. 82 in Port Isabel, still 80 in Raymondville here in Westlaco. 81 McAllen checks in at 84 degrees. Dew points, they're coming back up. We got a little bit of a break over the weekend. Dew points fell into the 60s, but they're right back up where we started with, uh, we'll put the average on the muggy meter at about 75. So it is humid out there again. And for the most part, it'll stay that way for a while. We don't see big changes as far as that's concerned at all. That means our low temperatures tonight stay in the upper 70s again, and even low 80s along the coast, 82 at South Padre Island. Then tomorrow's highs back in the 90s across most of the area. If you get a quick shower, thunder shower, you'll cool off into the 80s at least for a little while. And of course, days are getting shorter, so once you cool off, it's hard to warm back up so you stay in the 80s most of the rest of the day. 93 Tuesday and Wednesday and then 89 on Thursday because the chance of rain does go up beginning late Wednesday and lasting through Thursday, perhaps even into Friday. Radar's quiet now, but here's where rain fell today. Doppler says more than two inches of rain over the bay and on the north end of the town of South Padre Island and then about 1.3 just to the north of Los Fresnos, about four tenths of Boca Chica Beach and up in Willis County, about an inch just to the northeast of San Perlita, four tenths southeast Raymondville but northwest Raymondville, nothing so very spotty activity. It was all in the coastal counties today. And then a couple of little blips showed up in the western part of the valley late this afternoon, but that was about it. Now, future track overnight says it's a quiet night, but during the daytime tomorrow, you saw a couple of green splotches show up. There could be that brief shower again tomorrow, primarily in the coastal counties. A little too dry in the west for anything big, it looks like. Wednesday, we start to moisten things up a little bit, but I don't think we see a lot during the day. I think it's Wednesday night when we start to moisten up and you see a line of showers and thunderstorms work their way to the region. This is 3 a.m. Thursday. Look at all that yellow and the orange down there. That's indicative of not only showers, but some pretty good thunderstorms, and they kind of stick around during the daytime on Thursday. So we have 20, 30, 50 your rain chances the next three days. Big picture showing the rest of Texas pretty quiet across the state. A front pushing into the state. Here it comes. That's what's going to trigger showers and thunderstorms later this week, and even though the front probably won't go through the valley, it should stall just to the north. It'll be close enough to be a focal point for showers and thunderstorms to develop. Then the front falls apart on Friday, the moisture lingers. Tropics, here's what's going on. Look at all those systems, but none of them expected to have an impact on us. So for tonight across the valley, we are just patchy clouds, a mild night, 77 for a low. Then tomorrow back to 93 with a shower in a couple of spots, but nothing big, nothing widespread, just stray showers. Better chance of rain, not during the daytime on Wednesday, but Wednesday night into Thursday. Thursday looks like probably the best chance for rain this week. Kind of lingering into early Friday, and hopefully by the end of the day, Friday it moves out. Saturday and Sunday, not much more than about a 20% chance for a shower. So the best chance looks to be Wednesday night and during the daytime on Thursday. And